My name is Ian Walsh. Um, today I'm going to talk about the longer video with the informed investor, uh, typically found in our newsletter. What I'm going to discuss today is the cash out refinance, as people like to um, refer to it. I guess that's how you do refer to it. Uh, the cash out refinance is something that we, we also do at Hard Money Bankers. Um, you'll tend to find it more though like in the banking world, they do a cash out on investment property and so forth. The way we look at it in, in two ways, because you can kind of call it the same thing. One way we do a cash out is, hey, I have a business uh, reason that uh, I need business funds to either um, support my business or do renovations on the property. I own a property free and clear. Can I pull money out of it? Do you care about seasoning? Uh, no, my answer is no. We're not. We're not. We don't have to go. We're not, there's no banking guidelines with us, so seasoning isn't an issue. Um, as far as the the refinance itself, though, so let's say you have a property that's currently at one hundred and fifty thousand dollars renovated, and you say, hey, I need to take out. Uh, 60,000 of that. Sounds good. You know, I can make it work. I can commit to it the same day and I'll close it in five days for you. Um, you know, hopefully you're using that money for, um, you know, to renovate the property or improve it, but there's multiple reasons or multiple business reasons that you could be doing that. So um, that's one way that you do it. Another way could be, hey, I bought a property, you know, at auction maybe for 80 grand. I bought cash. Um, to us, cash, when you buy a property cash, then refinancing or taking out construction loan or taking out money out of it is the same equivalency of us saying, hey, they brought cash to the table to close. So it's an easy position for us or an easy, it's very easy for us to do business that capacity because um, a lot of times you already have cash in the game. You're already in there with us. Um, so you can do it in that capacity. Uh, a, you know, the refinance notes though are typically, you know, nine, six, nine, 12 month notes. So they're short term money. A lot of times people just use them to do the renovations of the property, fix it, flip it, and, and they treat it just like one of our construction and acquisition loans. Um, sometimes what they do is they take the money and they buy another house with it and then they pay it off with, um, you know, when they sell that house on a flip. So there's a lot of different capacities you can use it. You can use your refinances like a piggy bank. I have a lot of investors that what they do is they might own quite a few properties and they like to acquire more. So they, they use their other property as what we call cross collateral and then um which is a refinance take the money out of that and then go ahead and um buy a new property refinance that pay that one off or pay another one off or they'll, they'll leave several properties in a free and clear position so they can just use them and tap into them like a piggy bank back and forth while they buy new properties and scale up their um you know what they're doing so the refinance itself is just a way of saying hey how do i take money out and what can i use it for and how fast can it be done um that's really what a refinance becomes. It's not the refinance in the way that, um, well, I guess it could be used in this way too, which is a refinance, hey, I have a lender, I need to take them out, can I refi out with you? But when we hear refinance in, in the hard money world, a lot of times it's more based around um, sometimes taking a position out, but a lot of times it's refinancing the current property to take money out to then go use that money back into the property many times. Um, it's not usually a refinance for a lower rate or a lower interest rate for a long-term position because you're usually taking out our position um, with that lower position. So you're almost refining twice, which is okay because we don't have seasoning issues. Um, if you like our videos, you can visit me uh, or visit us at hardmoneybankers.com. Email me at ian at hardmoneybankers.com. Um, Facebook is Ian Walsh, LinkedIn is Ian Walsh, and my phone number is 215-839-3271.